Hi everybody, I'm Jackie here on Fitness for Life. I'm so excited for this workout today. It's going to be all about cardio and toning our entire body. We will need one pair of dumbbells. Alternative, go for your body weight, that's totally fine. And we also want to use a step for some exercises. If you don't want to use a step, you can do the exercises just without a step on the floor. I will show you as you proceed in the workout. Let's start with the warm up. For the warm up, I want you to come into a step touch. It's one of my most frequent or frequently used warm ups and most favorite ones. Step touch with arm rows back. Pinch your shoulder blades back in together and I also want you to have your abs really pulled in. Step touch, make the step wider. Good. You know what's coming if you have followed some of my workouts? Overhead, arms with hamstring curls. Let's go. You're here. Stretch your quad and feel your hamstrings starting to be engaged here. Pull your elbows into your rib cage and once you have your navel tucked in. Looking great. Really curl that heel in into your butt cheek. Abs are pulling in. Beautiful. Four, three, two, and one. Now, give me knee circles. Step, 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 and alternate sides. Step, 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 knee circle. Open up that hip. Beautiful. Feel your abs here starting to pull as you twist that knee or turn it over to the side. We really press here through your thigh, your other thigh. Feel that booty being engaged. Try to keep your hips stacked, at least try to. This way you're using more ab muscles. That's always welcome, right? Last one here, right? And last one to the left. Now I want you to give me knee lifts with alternating punches to the ceiling. I want you to slightly lean back on that knee lift so that you're using your lower abs to drive that knee up. Punch up, extend that arm and stretch. Feed your quads. And four. And three. Two. Last one. All right. Cross front heel digs with slight arm rows. We're going to take it easy on this here. We want to get warmed up, the heart rate being up, so that we start with interval training today. We're going to do some HIT high intensity interval training, meaning we're going to work one exercise for 40 seconds, then we're going to have 10 seconds of rest, yes only 10, and then we're going to go into the next exercise for another 40 seconds. Each set or each interval, we have three exercises only. And then we're gonna repeat it for three times. Oh yes. Right, now, cross back, toe tap. Make it wide, that step here. Step out to the side wide, and then tap your toe behind your standing foot. Take your arms into this. Make it a step skater here. Sway your arms to the side. Feel your obliques here, stopping that motion. 
Good. And a couple more here. Really cross tab. Four. And three. Two. Last one. Now come with your feet wide. And the arm circles on one side. Five, six, seven, eight. Other side. And again. Change sides. Now I want you to take both arms center and circle. Come to a baby squat here. So make that level change. Have your abs pulled in and circle your arms strong. I love this movement here. I love this move. It is so good for waking up so many muscles here in your body. All right. And four. And three. Two. Last one. Breathe. Now I want you to tap out right and left, right and left. Really extend that leg, squeeze through your booty as you tap your toe to the side, okay? Tap, 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 tap. Beautiful, now punch into your foot. I don't want you to punch low, it's just a punch to your knee, actually. I want you to twist from your waistline to drive or rotate that shoulder into your standing leg. This way, you're really working your obliques in your abdominal wall, your, especially your obliques. Tap out. Feel your glutes here, sir, you burn on you. Start with the first interval in the workout. Grab your step. Okay, you're all set. Step or whatever you're going to step on. Have it placed in the middle of your mat. Using a mat with the step is always good so that your equipment doesn't slide on you when you step on it or when you touch on it. Alright? So if you don't want to use a step in this one, it's going to be a little harder because this is actually the modification for lower impact. I'm going to give you the exhibition of the first three exercises. We want to start with donkey kicks on the step. Looks like this. So you step, touching your, your hands on the step, grab it or just have it placed on it. And then I want you to jump over with your, knee, with your feet lifting high. Then I want you to kick twice and jump over again kick twice. That's the first exercise. The next exercise is a simple one. You're going to step one foot on the step and I want you to hop over with really pulling your elbows back and dr to drive you up. Then I want you to stay here with one foot on the step and give me bobbing waves. And come on back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, that's the second move. This is really gonna get your thighs and your abs here. It's also a lot, lots of cardio. The next one, that's a real cardio one. I want you to have your foot, one foot tapping, or your toes tapping on the step. I want you to be just alternating toe taps on the step. You can do this, of course, on the floor, keeping your foot a little elevated. That would be the modification. Modification for the second exercise, of course, not hopping on the step or stepping on the step. You're just gonna go like this. Bottom weave, hop over, and bottom weave, okay? Good, I'm gonna set my timer, 40 seconds. Each exercise, 10 seconds of rest in between, 40 seconds the next one, all right? I'm gonna get my timer. 
You don't have to worry about the time. I will guide you through this. So, we want to start with the first move, which is a donkey kick. So, place your hands on the step or on the floor, which is harder actually. Now, hop over, double kick, and other side. You don't have to go quick here in the first round. Just go easy in the first round so that you get used to the move. You can lift your feet higher if you want, or just hop over, like I do. And side kick, double side kick. 10 more seconds. Other side. Good, 10 seconds of rest. Next move, hop overs either on the step or on the floor, and with a bottom weave. Ready? Let's go. Two, three, four. And go back. Two. Really drive your upper body around and make that level change. Get down and up. Draw a letter U with your head, with your upper body. Are you with me? And over. 10 seconds of rest. Quick toe taps. That's a real tough one. Like I said, do it on the floor without a step. Slightly tap your toes on and have your abs really pulling in. No weight on the tapping foot. to round number two. How you doing? Catch your breath, guys. This is your active recovery. 20 more seconds before we're going to go into round number two. seconds. I'm going to get myself ready. I'm going to start on the other side now. Hop over, double side kick. Make sure that you're kicking out through your leg and kick through your laces and try to get it parallel to the floor. In. When you hop over, you're really using your abdominal wall here. And over. Good. Second move. Hop overs with bottom weaves. Woohoo! You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Toe taps, quick toe taps. That's tough. Ready? Come on. Lean slightly back. Don't have any weight on your tapping foot. Arms are strong, abs are really pulling in. If you want, this might be an alternative for you. And step touch and breathe. How are you doing there? One more round. This is tough. This is cardio. This is crushing calories and you're burning fat. Keep on moving. Step touch with me. Good. You can go slow, you don't have to go as quick as I do. And 10 more seconds. Get ready. Hop overs, jump overs, double side kick. Try to keep your balance. Lost my balance there. And breathe. Pop over with bottom weaves. I've started to sweat. Breathe. Come on. One, two, three, four. 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 And hop over. Breathe. Toe taps on the step. Looking great. Let's go. Focus on your abs. Slightly lean back. Strong arms, strong abs. Half time.
we're going to catch our breath a little and then we're going to go into exhibition round for the second interval exhibition of the next interval. Grab your dumbbells for this. It's only one exercise actually with the dumbbells. So you want to have you I want you to have your dumbbells right here on, on shoulder level, right like this, alright? So now I want you to step up, lift your knee up, step down, and come into back lunge. We will move slowly. We have 40 seconds on each side. Okay, that's the first move. The second move is going to be as simple as that, plank lunges. So once you come to plank, it's an elevated plank actually on the step. So come into a lunge here now. Once you really jump up. Lunge jumps on the step. It's an elevated one. If you don't want to use a box or a step or a chair, actually, to do it elevated, you can do it on the floor. It just it is harder. Good. The, the third one. It's also a simple move, but we don't need the step for this. I want you to come to a knee plank position. Your wrists are right underneath your shoulders. I want you to have your fingers spread wide. Your knees are right underneath your hips. Now, I want you to tuck your toes into the mat. Slightly lift your knees off the floor, hover, extend, leg lift. All right, 40 seconds on each side. This is a tough, tawny move, but I really tell you this is the obliques workout, the obliques move that you can do. It's the only one. Okay, let's wait for my timer to be all set and then we're going to start. So for this, grab your dumbbells, 40 seconds each move on each step. Ten more seconds and I want you to keep on moving while we're waiting for my timer. Get your dumbbells into position. Now, step up, knee lift, dumbbell thrust, step back and lunge. And do it again. Go slow. We want to have total control of our range of motion and of whatever move our body is performing. So come into a 90 degree lunge. Step up, knee lift, ceiling thrust. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Lunge back. Drop your back knee as low as you can. You will soon feel your arms and your biceps, your triceps, I mean, and your biceps. I'm using three kilos each side here. Go lighter if you want to. I might go lighter on the next round. Okay, drop the dumbbells. Come to a step plank, lunge hops. Pike your hips up and use your abs. Thank <sighs> you. 
we hover, tap, side leg lift, other side, tap, You will notice that I'm having my leg angled. In order to come back down into a knee hover. And breathe. Round number one. Check. Walk in place. Pump your arms. Catch your breath. For this round, I'm going to use lighter dumbbells. It's three hard. So don't worry if you need to switch on weights, okay? If this is too easy for you to have two light weights and you're not challenged enough, grab a heavier one. Still walk in place here with me. I'm going to start already grabbing my dumbbells and having my dumbbells on shoulder level like this. You ready to start with me? Step up, knee lift with ceiling thrusts, lunge back. This move or this, no, this move is not a new one. It's just combining several moves together with a little challenge through the step. When you step up, you want to press through your heel so that you're really using your glutes and your booty here, okay? Dumbbells, shoulder level. Let's start. Okay. Plain long chops. I'm gonna start with the other leg now. Let's go. I'm pulsing you once. If you don't want to do that, just go ahead for singles. Pike your hips up. Good. Knee hovers. Tuck your toes into the mat, lift your knees up, and tap, leg lift, out to the side. If you can, you can of course straighten your leg. It's some how it's... It's a dirty dog here. Oh, wrong leg. I'm 
we're going to finish it up on the other side. Ooh. Okay, come on up. Walk in place. Breathe. Pump your arms. You can, of course, give it a step touch like this with arm rows as long as you keep moving your body, alter your arms, okay? I don't want you to stand still just like that. We want to start again with step ups and knee lifts. If you want, you can skip the weights. Other than that, grab your dumbbells right in front or on chest level, or on shoulder level, sorry. Now step it up. Knee lift, step back down, and lunge. Lift that, lift that knee as high as you can to your chest and use your lower abs to drive it up. Breathe. Let's do this on the other side. Woo! My arms, shoulder level. If you don't want to thrust up, just keep your dumbbells here on shoulder level. That's totally fine. Step up and press up through your heel. Drop your dumbbells. Plain long chops. Ready? Last round. So stay with me. Stay strong. Stay in that knee hover here when you lift that leg out to the side. So good for your abs here. Step touch with me. Quick breather. catch my breath on this. My arms and shoulders. Oh, I'm really feeling them. Second interval is really upper body and abs. Whew. And boom. 
glory and glutes, everything. Walking clips. I'm going to give the exhibitions of the next exercises. So grab your lighter weights. I want you to step up like this. Curl, leg lift. Curl your heel in, straighten, come back down. And you're keeping your arms straight back before you're coming back down. So you're curling your heel into your butt. One more time here. All right. Lean forward and straighten the back and then step down. That's the first move. The second move, step up, leg lift to the side, step down, to the side. If you want, add a kick. Tricep kick back. Okay. Point through your toes. As simple as that. It's simple, yes. For the next move, I want you to come into a side plank. You can modify for the, in, with this to come down to your knees. Okay? I want you to have your wrist right underneath your shoulders. Now, I want you to lift up and thread under. Lift and thread. Lift and thread. And with this, I want you to really keep your hip lifted. If you're doing this in a full plank, make sure that your hips remain lifted and don't drop, okay? We're doing this 40 seconds on each side. Then, the next move is a knee plank actually on the step. So you're here. We don't need dumbbells for this. We're coming into a modified push-up, all right? So you, you're pushing up, then lift your back leg, and push up, back leg lift, and knee to elbow. Push up, back leg lift, and knee to elbow. It's really toning your entire body here. You're really working your obliques, your abdominal wall. You're working your your outer thighs and your inner thighs and your booty. And you're working your, your arms and shoulders. So total body move, absolutely excellent. Okay. We want to start with step ups. So you're here. Curl your heel in and alternate sides. So lean forward here. Then lift your leg. Kick your triceps back and then curl your heel in and straighten your leg back down. Back out, I mean. I want you to lean forward on this. It takes some coordination. All right, come to the floor. Sorry. Step up with side leg lifts. If you want, you can give it a tricep kick. With your booty here, inner and outer thighs. That side plank, I'm going to stay in a side elbow plank. Arm up and thread under. Hips still lifted, wrist is right underneath your shoulder. And twist, twist from your waistline.
you will soon feel here your supporting butt cheek. Let's do this on the other side. I need to get rid of my step for this. You ready? Thread under. Lift up. We twist from your waistline. Your hips remain lifted and you're twisting from your waistline. All right, grab your step again. Push up, knee push up. Leg lift, knee to elbow. This move gets everything in your body. Give me one more here. Okay, that was round number one. Whoo, shake out your arms. Wipe off your sweat. And let's relax. Catch your breath. Ooh, if you want, have a sip of water before we're going to go into round number two. I'm so sweating, it's amazing. Towards the end of each workout that I do here on YouTube, I tell you I look like, I don't know, a mess. I'm not ashamed because whatever we're doing for our body, don't need to be ashamed of. We're doing this for ourselves to feel better and to be healthier and fitter. So grab your dumbbells to go into round number two. Step up, lean forward, tricep kick back, leg lift, and curl your heel in. All right, let's start here. Curl, come down. forward. Have your abs pulling in and your shoulders are away from your ears, okay? I'm finishing up one more time here to be even. Step on the step. here. I am feeling mine. When you step up, press yourself up through your heel. up to the ceiling.
and other side. Change sides. You ready? Come on, thread under. And twist from your waistline. Abs are pulling in. Hip is lifted. You're also working your biceps here, your bicep, because you're passing that dumbbell under your body and you need your biceps to keep your arm up. to elbow. Ready? Let's go. Great job. Whew. What a sweaty mess I am. Catch your breath. Shake out your arms. Step touch if you want, but keep on moving. Don't stand still. We're gonna stand still when we're gonna stretch. Last round. So give me all your energy for the last round here. Nice. Walk in place if you want to, pump your arms, whatever move it takes for you to keep on moving, all right? 10 more seconds, so grab your dumbbells. Back leg lift, tricep curl, and then heel curl in, all right? Let's go. Pulling in. You need your abs to stabilize you when you lean over. All right. Great job. Now step up. Side leg lift kicks if you want to. Let's do this. Step down, other side. Press up through your heel. I'm feeling your my entire hips, thighs, booty, glutes. Woo! Excellent. Come on, give me one more on each side. Come to the floor. Side plank. With thread unders. Ready? Let's go.
elevated hip and twist. Change sides. Woohoo! I'm so excited. We're almost there. Strong. Give me one more. Good. Push up position with back leg lift. Let's do it. My goodness. I'm gonna get rid of the step. We're done. We're gonna stretch. I gotta quit my timer here. Watch your step touch. Roll your arms back. We gotta hit it one more time into hamstring curls with arms overhead. Curl your heel in. We practice this doing your workout, right? Four, three, two, and one. Stay fitted with your feet wide. Single arm circles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change sides. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and again. One more time. Last one, both arms. And four, three, two, one. Feet wide. Come with your palms to the floor and pause. Stretch your hamstrings. I want you to have your legs straight, but in a soft bend in the knees so that you don't overextend them. Circle over, grab your foot, and lean your nose, or fold your nose face into your knee. Another stretch. Oh, I feel so good. And other side. I'm much tighter on this side. And release. Now grab your elbows. Release your neck and your spine. Now shift from side to side. Now stay your center. Release your elbows. Roll up one bit of weight time with your abs tucked into your spine. And shoulders come up less. Good. Now. Come into runner's lunge. You know these stretches. 
and really extend your arm up and open your knee out to the side a little bit. Looking good. We did it. Just a couple of stretches and then you're good to go. Now drop your back knee on the floor. Shift your body weight into your pelvis here on the back side and into your front leg. Now overhead extension. Push your body weight back. Your front heel stays on the floor. Usual stretch routine of mine. Stretch here, your hamstring and the entire back side. Now I want you to come to pigeon. Good. Keep you your hip lifted and try to get your back hip and heel touching. If you're not as flexible yet, you can come up to your hands, that's also fine. All right, if you're flexible enough, come down to your elbows and give into that stretch and let it go, just let it go. Good. Beautiful. I want you to come into a mermaid position now. Like this, grab your hand. I don't want you to jerk and pull on your hand. I just want you to give it a slight pull so that you're stretching from your obliques over your lower back, coming out from your hip. This is so good. Now, place your palm behind your hip and lift your hips up and extend overhead. Give your entire front side a great stretch. Beautiful release. Now extend this leg here. Grab your toes with both arms, both hands if you can. And then try to lean your face again into your knee. Come as deep as you can to that stretch and feel it stretching your all over your back. This and your hip. It's, this is really giving your entire hips a relief. And it's opening them up. Great against tight hips. Good. Release. Now, step over your other leg and press your knee to the side and look. Really twist from your waistline. 180 twist if you can. Why well, I can't? But. Try to twist as big as you can, as much as you can. Good, and release. Let's do this on the other side. Come to runner's lunge. Just as we did on the other side before. Reach up to the ceiling. Well-deserved stretch, guys. Okay, now release your back knee on the floor. Press your body weight into your front back hip here and your front leg. And now extend overhead. Good. And release. Push your pelvis back, your heel, your front heel is on the floor, stays there. So you're really stretching your entire backside of your leg. We did a lot of glute and booty work today, so this stretch is absolutely necessary. Now come into a pigeon, just as we did before. Give into that stretch oh, and breathe. I'm dripping. Drip, 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 drip. So good. Good. 
even to that stretch. Nice. Come into mermaid pose now. Usually I just turn around, but if I turned around, I would be showing you my backside, so that would be nice. Now place your palm behind your hip, lift your hips up, extend your arm overhead, and stretch. And release. Extend the other leg now and grab your toes if you can. And try to get your nose as close to your knee as you can. The stretch is happening on this side here. In case you wouldn't feel it. Now, step over your other leg. Press your knee. Turn into the opposite direction. And release. Last stretch. Come into knee plan position, okay? I want you to have your wrists right underneath your shoulders and your knees right underneath your hips. I want you to extend one leg. Now, extend the other arm, the back arm, up to the ceiling. And I want you to twist and thread under. Now drop your shoulder on the mat and give your back a beautiful and your arms and shoulders a great stretch because we used our arms and we worked our arms and shoulders a lot. Oh. With this stretch, my spine is rearranging again comes back into place. Hello there. <laughs> okay, and release. Let's do this on the other side. Come back into that knee plank position. Tap your toe, your other leg straight back. Extend your arm up to the ceiling, thread under, and drop your shoulder on the floor. Beautiful. Breathe. Nice. And release. Now I want you to step back or come into a plank position like this and I want you to walk your hands into your foot, into your feet, sorry, and roll up one at a right time. Shoulders come up last, abs were tight. Thanks for working out and sweating with me today here on this great interval training, high intensity interval training. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you're going to join me in one of my next workouts. For that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or like me on Facebook. And if you want to learn more about that program, that Fall Shredded 2017 program, please see the description below. You will find all links to the other workouts that you might have missed. See you again next time and to always take care of yourself. Bye-bye.